Hey there, what's up everybody? This is Tyler from TylerZipper.com. Hope you're all doing well today. So today I'm going to be walking you through how I plan out a website using a project brief. I'm also going to share an example project brief with you that I've filled in for the TylerZipper.com website. So let's get into it. So here's a template that I use to fill out before I even start designing or building out a website. And you can find this template on tylerzipper.com and I'll also share a link to it in the video below. So there's four sections that I like to cover and fill in for my project briefs. And you'll find them over here. The first section is why do you want a website? The second section is goals you want your website to achieve. Next are inspiration websites. And lastly is a content outline. So jumping into the first section here, why do you want a website? I think this is a really important question to ask yourself before you actually start designing. So most people know that they need a website, but why do you need a website? What is your specific situation? So for me, I needed to transfer my website from WordPress to Squarespace, and I was struggling updating and maintaining my WordPress site, so I knew it was time for a change. I also wrote down some different changes in my business model from the services and products that I wanted to offer. And then lastly, I put a section in here, how should tomorrow look upon completion of my project? So I put some, some different bullets here that just help paint a clear picture of what I wanted my website to look like when it was done. The next most important part to get into is goals you want your website to achieve. So we're not just building a website, we're built to build a website. We're building a website to help achieve your business goals. So list down three goals here in order of importance to your business. So for example, me, the main goal I want my website to accomplish is generating leads. Then also generate a few sub bullets under here just to say, here's how I'm gonna get these leads through free website audits or training services or co-working building sections. The next goal I listed down was building an email list. So it's important for me to build an email list and build that kind of community with my followers that I can share blogs with and free content with. And the next goal I had was selling products and courses online for passive income. One other little small part I like to include in here is a target launch date for my website. That's another goal I want to hit. So list that date down in here in your brief. The next section to fill out in your brief are inspiration websites. So there's probably a certain style that you're envisioning for your website and there's probably a few websites out there that you already like or admire. So list those websites down here and then fill in a short description of what do you like about them. So for example, I put that I like the clean modern layout and the personal feel of this theme. And then for this website I put in, I like how they use banner images and backgrounds in the header of their pages. And then for this website example, I like the different colored sections they use to break up the website. So this is going to help you down the line when it comes to actually designing your website. And usually um, the way I like to look at it is I like to take bits and pieces from each inspiration website and put that into my website to give it this nice, unique, cohesive feel. The last part to fill out in your project brief is the content outline. So these are the pages and the sections that you're going to have on your website. So I do this by just filling out like a simple bulleted list of the pages I think I'm going to have on my website. So for example, we have a home page here. Um, here's a folder drop down in my main nav that has four other pages in it. I want an about me page, a blog page, a tools and resources page. So just configure that and structure that in a way that makes sense to you. And then any other non-link pages that you might have so that aren't included in your navigation, put down here. So this is going to help you build out your, your skeleton later on. So once you get into Squarespace or whatever you're using to design your website, you have a nice structure, organized structure to build out your site. So you don't need to think about what you're going to do. It's right there in your brief and you're ready to get going. So if you have any questions about a project brief, getting started with your website project, I'm happy to help answer any questions you might have. For your website project. So, happy planning!